car just picked me up from Ikea. Navigate home. Tap on the pedal here. All right, so I took video on the way down here and I don't think my microphone was right, was on. <laughs> So now we're going to take the highway back home. We'll, we'll see if the video actually worked. If, if not, we'll just use this video. So this is highway, uh, this is FSD version 12.5.6.3. So we're on the highway stack. And I think I need to go that way. Yeah, go that way. Please go that way. <laughs> Almost curbed it. That was not good. I was confused with that entrance. Could have gone the wrong way. All right. It was great getting down here. Let's see. Now we got a red. Right on red. So that was good. So this high, this is uh, the highway stack. Once again, 12.5.6.3. It's a uh, hardware AI4. Thanks again for coming along for these rides. Definitely appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. And if you can, comment in the video. We'd definitely like to hear your thoughts. Right now, currently, the speed setting controls are not for city streets. They're for the highway. And I'll show you if I, uh, what I'll do is put the link up with Chuck Cook's uh, X uh, post, which describes which each of the driving modes are for. But currently, right now, if we're in autopilot, I'm in hurry mode, but that's for the highway. It has nothing to do with city streets and speed control. So, which, what is nice about the highway stack is if you are on the highway and you're maybe in a different mode and you want to change it on the fly, it'll adjust, which is really nice. And I just had that on the way down here, so I'm going to try that again. We'll be in standard mode and then we'll move it to hurry mode and see how it handles that. So, we're mid-afternoon on a Friday. The speed limit in this street is 30. I'm going 34, 35. So it's fine. I'm in the right lane. If somebody wants to go around me, they can go on the left lane. Then we're going to hit the highway here shortly. Person was not. <laughs> Gosh. Now I'm not worried really about hitting that person. I don't think it would have, <laughs> but I didn't want to take a chance. That guy tripped on the on the sidewalk. <laughs> Terrible. So you, <laughs> word of the <laughs> word of the wise, just always be ready to take over. All right, so are we back in uh yeah, all right. There we go.
uh, up until this drive, <laughs> this is the most uh, disengagements I've had on this version. Now, that could have been my fault. I mean, as far as that person, I was just not really sure if that if he was going to fall into the street or not. But uh, exiting the parking lot, I could have gone the wrong direction. And I thought I was going to curb my wheels, so I had to disengage. All right, so we're getting up to speed on the highway. Uh, got the left signal on early because the entrance is a short ramp, so that's good. So I'm in the, right now, currently, so you just know, in standard mode. So let's just say we wanted to get into hurry mode. We'll just hit hurry. Signal goes on right away. And now I am in the, in the faster lanes. So you can change these on the fly, uh, your profile, So which is really nice. The, the minimal lane change, as Chuck mentioned in his X tweet, or tweet, or whatever you want to call it, um, they took away the minimal lane change. So that's, if you're going to use that, if you like to use the minimal lane change, uh, then select chill mode. So if you like to camp out in this lane and you want to be in faster traffic, then hurry is your best option. And these profiles are for the highway. It has nothing to do with the city streets. So yeah, good speed. Uh, if we want to go back down to a slower speed, let's say we want to get out of, you know, if this is too fast for anybody, we'll just go to standard. And now it wants to get over safely. While, while we are in uh, before rush hour traffic, um, as far as a Friday afternoon goes, I mean, I think a lot of people are probably either working from home or trying to get out of the office early today. It's such a nice day after the terrible crappy weather we had yesterday. So I know a lot of people are probably wanting to get get out of the office. chill mode let's see what happens it may move over one more maybe yeah there it goes so it's going to camp out mostly in the, the furthest right lane if there's no exit to the right which is I think is coming up here shortly anyway so this will give you the, probably the safest following distance going 66 and a 60 so if you feel more comfortable with in this setting then use chill or average so there you go on that I know there's some there were some confusion out there as far as the modes uh, whether it's city or highway it's those modes are for the highway portion of the 
end to end stack for the highway. And this is typically how I drive on the highway anyway. I'm kind of sitting back a little bit. I'm not in a rush. And I feel more safe. So. exits in less than less than a half a mile. What I've noticed too, when you do get on or, or get, getting off the highway, the exit, there's a person with their flashers on here. Um, it doesn't throw you into the into the far lane anymore, like it used to. It's it's very smooth, so that's great. This person, what are they going to do? Got a railroad crossing right up here, but it's going to slow down because of traffic. It's slowing down for the railroad crossing, so that's good. Alright, so... Let me know what you think on the drive. Um, don't forget to... Uh, you know, like the like the video, please. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Um, and then also share it with somebody that uh, is interested in Tesla and full self driving. Um, but overall, I mean, other than the hiccup getting out of the uh, <laughs> IKEA parking lot, it, the drives have been pretty good. Um, I, I really don't have any major complaints other than the, that parking lot episode. So once again, thanks for getting for watching Total Tesla, and we will see you on the next video. Take care.